VMware Cloud on AWS is an on-demand SDDC service that enables you to run applications on vSphere-based cloud environments with access to a broad range of AWS services. Powered by VMware Cloud Foundation, this service is optimized to run on dedicated, elastic, bare-metal AWS infrastructure. At a very high level, the environments involved in this service are your on-premises data center, your current Amazon VPC, the public internet, and your new VMware Cloud on AWS SDDC. For control and security purposes, the SDDC is further bifurcated into the management components that run the SDDC itself, such as vSAN, NSX, vCenter, and your compute components, which are your actual workload virtual machines. To operate your new cloud SDDC, you need these components to communicate with one another. But how? It may seem daunting, but it's not. And this video will help you understand the simple connectivity framework of VMware Cloud on AWS. The first connection we need to create to kickstart our VMware Cloud on AWS deployment is to the management components of the SDDC. To do this, you will need to create a management VPN and determine a range of IP addresses that will be used by these management components like your vCenter and ESXi hosts. This address range will be in the form of a simple CIDR block. It is recommended that you use a slash 20 CIDR block for management purposes. After your SDDC is provisioned, you will need to build an IPsec VPN between your on-premises data center and management components. This VPN can travel over the internet or over AWS Direct Connect. Once connected, you can build firewall rules in the VMware Cloud on AWS console to control access to the vCenter server from your on-premises data center. The next connection is optional and is only needed if you need access to your vCenter server directly from the internet. A public IP for your management components is automatically provided during the provisioning process. However, all access to this IP is restricted. To provide internet access, you would need to configure firewall rules in the VMware Cloud on AWS console to allow the direct type of public internet access. The second VPN you will need to create will be between your compute workloads and your on-premises data center. To do this, we will need to create several logical networks that will provide the IP addresses for the workloads you migrate or build in VMware Cloud on AWS. This compute VPN will secure these workloads and allow them to communicate with on-premises workloads. VMware Cloud on AWS allows customers to leverage IPsec Layer 3 VPNs as well as Layer 2 VPNs. The advantage of a Layer 2 VPN is it enables you to stretch your on-premises data link layer, Layer 2, to your cloud environment, thus removing the need to re-IP workloads, which is required for live migrations with vMotion. This VPN can go over the internet or over AWS Direct Connect. For security purposes, you can once again create firewall rules as needed to enable that connectivity to on-premises workloads. The next connection is between your SDDC workloads and your Amazon VPC. It is automatically configured and built during the SDDC provisioning process. Once you select the Amazon VPC that will be associated with your VMware Cloud on AWS, an elastic network interface will be created, allowing traffic to flow between these two environments. To control security, you will configure IAM policies on the AWS side and firewall rules on the VMware Cloud on AWS side to allow access between them. Finally, you will likely need to give direct public internet access to some of your SDDC workloads. To make your workloads in the compute environments accessible to the internet, you will need to leverage AWS Elastic IPs, along with NAT and firewall configuration to allow that type of access. Again, this can be done through the networking interface in the VMware Cloud on AWS console and works similar to any other firewall or NAT appliance. That's it. Now that you have connected everything together, you are ready to get the most out of your new VMware Cloud on AWS SDDC. This concludes our explanation of your connectivity options in VMware Cloud on AWS. Thank you.